Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of How to Hardcore Today. I'm back again for another uh, enthralling episode, hopefully. Today is a bit more of a chill one. I've got a few plans, I've got a few ideas. I'm definitely stealing this obsidian. We're gonna go to the nether at some point. Might even be today. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't got much in the way of a plan as of yet. We're still working on the base, still working on the ideas. And also, might as well put this diamond axe to good use. Do I have a pickaxe to good use? So yeah, I hope everyone's having a lovely evening. Hopefully we can kick on. Oh yeah, and just another little quick plug. I am also live on Twitch probably now. Maybe even later when this goes up. Who knows? So do head on over if you're um, enjoying the content. Um, we're a lot further ahead <laughs> than these since I edit these down from the stream. So yeah, if you, these are all pre-recorded and then I voice over them. So yeah, welcome back. Hopefully these sound all right. Hopefully I sound good. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got to pick up all this obsidian. Got to put it to good use, make sure I get enough. Hopefully we get 10. I think that's how much you need to make a portal. I can't remember without the edges or anything. Because we're going to make a nice portal as well. We're going to make a good portal or something, a big one. And make it like a big nether hub. That's some of the plans I've got going. Some, something, I've oh, got 11, that's good. So yeah, this is where we're making it on the island. As you can see, it's going quite well so far. Everything. I'm gonna also a little, little hint about the future, right? That mound is gone. Like, you see all of that stone next to me? Prepare for the next couple of episodes. A lot of work went into grafting. A lot of work went into grafting. It's very weird because obviously I have, I'm, I'm editing these down from the streams. These are all in the past. And my god, does the place look different already. So yeah, if, if, if you definitely aren't on the Twitch, I would go now because we make some big moves to rise forward. The fact that this chest is not full of stone now is is mental to me. It's very strange. I won't give too many spoilers away about the future. Go, go check it out. Go check out the streams. <laughs> That's all I'll say. All right, now into the good bits. Now into what we're really doing for today. We're um, definitely going to put the portal on. We might check it out, might not. Who knows? Through we go to have a little little look around. What's it gonna look like? And yeah, not bad. Not a shabby little place. Uh, to begin with, we're gonna just protect ourselves though. I don't want to um, get stuck. So time to encase ourselves. Uh, I forgot about how annoying. I don't know why, but. Skeletons spawn on this bit, and it's the most annoying thing known to mankind. Because I have to deal with them. And this might sound like a very strange pet peeve, right? But they just they just got aimbot. I don't understand. Like, look, he seen me for a second. Oh, to be fair, he's quite close to I didn't actually realise how much he snuck up on me. Uh, but that's what I mean. They feel like they've got aimbot. Also, I haven't got some good luck as well. I managed to get a bow from that, which is... I don't know what the drop rate on that is, but... I don't think I should have. I definitely don't think I should have. So yeah, we're going to make sure this is all safe up. I know the likelihood of a gas spawning here is probably zilch. But, you know, I'd rather not have to try and skedaddle my way through the never whilst very low. <laughs> and then get absolutely shafted by there being no portal. So... We're taking every precaution known to mankind here. We are making this place safe and sound. Without a shadow of a doubt, I do not want to skedaddle my last skedaddle this season. I'm doing really well. I'm getting up to day 100 very quickly. So let's just make sure this is all clear. Um, Got to make sure this looks good though. So double entrance, of course. And get rid of this soul sand sense. It's a pain to walk on. But blue torches. So that's a must. That's a must for this series. I love the colour blue and I love the torches. They look sick. Um, so yeah, that's a, never kind of kind of done so far. And this is what I mean is like look already. This is kind of the pattern you'll see throughout the series. I spent a lot of time doing this. This will mixed in with what I usually do. I'll do some other stuff. So today is kind of a never slash. Get back on the grind, get back on the uh, getting rid of this, and also you can kind of like see the upgrades we're doing. We've got a uh, good, well, an okay pickaxe, it's nothing to rave home about, but it's much faster than the uh, pick from the last episode, I can tell you that much. Much, much quicker. 
we're now tearing through blocks. So I'm kind of happy because, as you can tell, we're getting through things. We're, we're, we're going. We're making big moves, which is quite nice because it's very rare that, you know, I kind of end up doing these kind of things, um, mainly because I'm just kind of like doing other stuff or... I always forget to add the mundane tasks in, which you're now seeing. I mean, like very, very... I spent a lot of time. I think I was mined over like 5,000 blocks. I need to do a stat check. We'll do a stat check for the next episode, hopefully. If not, I'll do one in the latest episode so then everyone can see that because there definitely needs to be a stat check on mines blocked. 100%. But we're also getting wood because I've noticed something. I'm not prioritizing too many emeralds. But you'll see I get a lot of wood, I get a lot of sticks, so enjoy the little quick time lapse of me getting all the wood. Hopefully we'll be back to selling and capitalizing on more emeralds. Yeah, I'm kind of realizing that. I also need to do, um, what's it called? You know, zombie village. I need to zombify them, then I need to make them cheaper because those stick prices are driving up the local destruction of these forests and if i can make them cheaper i can then get more for my buck is what i'm thinking so that's a definitely a must on the future because this is this is shorting it down for you guys but i destroyed well over like 50 trees in like a short period of time and it felt very long it felt <laughs> i have no fun doing this it makes the area look very plain which is good because that means it, you know i can see everything that's going on but also here's another little thing that was kind of funny but very annoying these two villagers just having an away day in the sheep farm and then refusing to get out they refused i would push one out and then the other one would get in and then sheep would leave I, the, the sheep wanted to get out so um i unfortunately got i tried to try to even get him back in i just gave up i was like all right cool he's back in he's back in we've got some escapes you get, like there he decided just to say see you um we don't talk about what happened after that uh <laughs> that one he, he gets to live for some reason i don't know why but we're back on the nether ground I've gone all the way down to Ancient Debris level, and I'm finding and having a look around. As you can see, my pickaxe works like a boss. And so does my uh, good old-fashioned shovel. So, I've been mine for a little while now, I just I cut it down. found one Ancient Debris because we, I already have two left over, if you remember. So this was a big find for me. Then I went up. I was going back. I think I found another one. Um, I'm not sure, but maybe. Let's hope. I think I found two, and then I went to go treasure hunting. We decided to move on with our lives and just become pirates of the sea. And all I got was a little rod. And what is this map? What, what, what does this accomplish in the game? What do I genuinely get from this? I was fuming. I can't tell you. I might put in where I was a few minutes. It's... There's not even an X on the spot. Where's the X? Where is the X? Tell me. I don't have a clue. So far, treasure hunting has been a dud, so we did find this bling. We found one of these portals, and I decided that, you know what? My luck's going to change. I'm going to get something. Nothing. I got a golden apple, so eh, kind of all right. Then I started looking around these things, because I'm pretty sure you can get treasure in here. I've got a spare emerald, so I mean, it's not terrible it's not good it's not great but i didn't realize how much of a pain it is to navigate these i've also got a nautilus shell it's, i think i need eight of them. i don't know what for but i need eight of them so i've got two and also i like how if you crouch on these you don't get hit how cool is that that's a neat little little tip for anyone in there that doesn't know that is that if you crouch on them you uh, you don't take any damage as well as dealing with a drowned, the local drowned population, I decided to see what's in this chest. And an apple again, just an emerald and another fishing rod. Again, we haven't really found much to rave home about, but hopefully my luck's about to change. Where there's another chest, at least I know in there. Is it going to be anything good? 
I've got to find the chest first. Ooh, we get at least one buried treasure map. Okay. And also I nearly drown. Surely it can't be worse than the current one we've got. Who knows? I ain't got a clue. It might be good, it might not be good. Could lead us somewhere, it could lead us nowhere. Um, so after spending a copious amount of time as well trying to find where it was, we get there. Because I hate the fact they just managed to do it. At least we found some uh, sea turtles, so... I'm at the I'm at the area now. Put a place of bed down. Make sure we sleep, because uh, I don't want to deal with mobs when I'm not really prepared. You know, I've got only I've got a good amount of bread. I've got a good amount of weaponry, but that's about it. I ain't got much in the way of good tools, like good sword. It's a sword, it does the job. So waiting for the night to pass, as you can tell, it was very long. Eh, but at least we get to sleep under the stars in a random forest. What more could you want? So after cracking on, trying to find this map, honestly, I am more confused about this map than anything. Um, I'm mining as much sand as I can. I, I hopefully we find it. I don't actually know. I'm, I'm I can't really remember now. It's so long ago. But this is just another problem. Was I need to get respiration because this was painful. Every single time, going down, going up, going down. I might as well have been doing apple bobs. Like, I was having bad luck here. Get down. As you can tell, I, I literally went mad. I started, I'm starting just to whack as much sand as I can. I'm going around every area. I, I gave up at this point, and I decided to go exploring. And I found a village, which, in all honesty, just gave me as much naff stuff as the treasure chests. So, it's been... Not a lucrative day, by any means. Although, some of these chests could have some good, and uh, we found a library, which is uh, good for me, because I found two of them, by the way. I forgot to add the other one in. And a brewing stand, which is amazing, because I can zombify my villagers. And, doo -doo -doo, I can create some fire pots when I find some nether wool. But yeah, that's all for today. So if you have liked and you have enjoyed, do make sure to hit a follow and hit that like button. See ya!